Victoria has, has asked me to give a little talk on my adagio, a um, little piece for clarinet and piano. Um, but the actual story of this piece starts quite a long time ago and is really rather intriguing. Um, which is to say that uh, early on in the 19th century, sort of about a third of the way through, uh, an adagio by Richard Wagner was published. Uh, here's a, quite, quite a new copy of it, actually, not, not that new. It'll be certainly pre the 1960s. Um, and it was loved by clarinet players and audiences. It's uh, a beautiful piece. But people thought, this is rather odd. It doesn't sound much like Wagner, and it seems to have been written at the wrong time. Uh, and it wasn't until much later, the 1960s in fact, uh, where it was discovered that, that the Wagner adagio wasn't by Wagner at all, but it was by Heinrich Behrmann. And here is a, a, a version, an edition of the, the Behrmann adagio. What had happened is that uh, Breitkopf and Hertel, who originally published it, thought that if they published this piece under Wagner's name, they would make more money. Isn't that awful? Anyway, so it was published under Wagner's name and, and poor old Behrman uh, didn't get to look in at all. Um, it, it, it was obviously the 1960s, um, nearly 100 years after he died, um, that it was actually published under his own name. So that's, that's how it came about. Uh, quite some years later, uh, I decided to write my adagio, which is very much based on certain aspects of the Behrman Adagio. The Behrman Adagio, by the way, was originally written um, as a part of a string quintet, but quite an unusual string quintet. Uh, it was for string quintet plus two horns uh, and clarinet, who had the, the solo line. That edition seems to be lost. Um, no, no one seems to know whether a particular version of it um, can be found anywhere, um, but clearly that's what uh, Behrman originally wrote it for. It was published for clarinet and string quartet, um, but is mostly known today in the clarinet and piano version. So here's the uh, original Behrman adagio, uh, and this of course is a, a kind of reduction from the string quartet version, but this is the one that is always played, and, and in fact it's, it's very pianistic, the accompaniment. But there are three aspects of it that I was particularly interested in, um, which I want to show you how they appear uh, in my adagio. Uh, one is the, the general shape uh, of the whole piece, the kind of ternary form. Uh, the second is the interesting middle section, uh, which in the Behrman adagio uh, has this tremolo effect. And the third is the actual opening theme itself, from the, the Behrman. Here's the original manuscript of my adagio, um, rather quaintly written out with pencil on paper. Uh, and I originally wrote the piece for the clarinetist Duncan Prescott and the uh, pianist Scott Mitchell. And sadly, Duncan has died um, at a, a very young age. But uh, he had given it a first performance. I remember the first performance which was at a music club in Wellingborough, uh, in, uh, not sure, Northamptonshire, I think. I was very happy when the excellent publishing house Recordy decided to, to take on the Adagio. Uh, I can't remember whether they'd already done one or two other things of mine. Um, Suite in Five is with Recordy, as is On the Safari for Clarinet Duet. Uh, and one or two other things as well. Uh, they published also, I think, two of my editions of um, mid-period Lefebvre sonatas. So, looking at the the actual piece now, um, I, I said there were three elements that uh, that I drew, and one is just basically the ternary form, um, and the other two interesting elements that I that I absolutely brought into my adagio. One is the tremulando effect in the middle section, uh, which I've done slightly differently, um, maybe slightly more pianistically as um, sixes, um, and uh, with some interesting, uh, quite virtuoso stuff going on in the clarinet above it.
the other is maybe the most uh, exciting bit of the piece, which is the climax of the piece, which happens after that Tremulando section, where finally um, we get to hear the original Behrman opening. And I quote that tune exactly and rhythmically exactly at the climactic point. And, uh, and then in performance, there, there really should be quite a long pause after that. Um, it builds up to this big climax and you really want quite a long pause of silence. Uh, before the music goes on. And so now let's hear Victoria's excellent performance of My Adagio, which is on uh, the Clarinet Classics CD um, of some of my pieces. Mm -hmm. 